Hey guys, I'm going to show you one of the easiest taxidermy projects you could do. All right, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Jay here from Wood Pitching Outdoors. Great to see you all again. We are now in 2020. I've been a very busy guy. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a taxidermy project. We're going to be making lucky feet. Some of you may or may not know that I do hunt. And when I do hunt, I try to use all the animal as much as I can. From the pelt to the meat to whatever I can use. Uh, the animal I harvested, I'll try to use what I can from that animal. And if I can't, unfortunately, it goes into another pile. Okay. So for this project, what you could, either, you could do the same thing for rabbit's foot or for raccoon feet. And uh, this is what you're going to need for the project. So you're going to need a container to wash feet in it's with uh, warm soap and warm soap. Any old soap you can use, dish soap, shampoo, whatever it is you got. We're going to need 70% rubbing alcohol. We're going to need some borax. I'm in Canada. Uh, I got my borax at the Walmart. That's where you usually find you can find it in the laundry detergent aisle. You need to use some jars, all right? You'll also need your rabbit's foot that you harvested, or in my case, raccoon foot. With that said, let's get on to the project. So we're just using the ordinary dish uh, detergent here and some warm water. Next, we're going to be putting the paws in. And all we're really doing is getting the surface dirt off the fur. They are wild animals and they do have dirt and whatever on them. We give them a quick rinse after we wash them and then we're on to the next part. We just, next part, we just take the paper towel and we basically pat dry. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. As we pat them dry after we're done, we're going to want to put them aside. Next, what you're going to want is to grab your jar, stick your paws into the jar. Just like that and you want to make sure that the paws are down in there because you're going to need to use some rubbing alcohol 70 percent rubbing alcohol and what we do is we fill up the jar of the 70 percent rubbing alcohol to the top and then we're going to be putting the lid on you want to make sure the paws are completely covered and then what we're going to do is set this aside for a couple of days. That's 48 hours. Once that's done, you give it a thumb. All right, guys, it's two days later. As you see with the wardrobe change, it's uh, on to the next step for our lucky feet. So what we're going to do now is take the feet out of the alcohol solution, rinse them off, and go on to the next step. So guys, very simple here. Just going to rinse it off and then in lukewarm water, you don't want it too hot. You don't want to cook it. And then we're just going to put it in the bowl, rinse off the other foot and go from there. All right, guys. So just a little side note, you're going to want to keep the uh, alcohol. You could do up to two to three batches with that. Now, all we're going to do after we rinsed off the paws, take a paper towel, put it in, and just do a quick damp off, right? Do in between the little toes. You just kind of getting that excess uh, alcohol stuff out of the paws. And a jar, you plop them in and you are good to go. So what you're going to do is grab your borax and what this does it helps it's a drying agent all right it's all natural so you don't have to worry about much what you're going to do is you put your borax in i know i put a little bit too much but uh shouldn't harm it at all so what we're going to do is fill this up with water and we're going to put it aside for another day day and a half uh you know basically when you could get back to it uh, so about another day, this should be good, and then uh, we'll go on to the next step. Alright guys, so it is 24 hours later. 
and uh, we got our feet here all set to go. Uh, we're on our final home stretch for this project. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, take it out, give it a rinse, and we go from there. All right, for this next part, like I said, we're just rinsing it off, checking in between the toes and all that just to get the borax powder out from in between the toes because once it dries, it's hard to uh, scrape off, so you don't want any of that in there. Make sure this part's done really well when you rinse it off. That's just the main thing. And then uh, you just strain it by doing a quick squeeze as I'm doing right here. You don't want to wring it because you're going to tear the hide. Just a quick squeeze not to break any of the bones or anything like that. And then uh, we're going to put it aside. So now that we got our paws rinsed, we're going to want to take some paper towel and just do a quick little pat down. Make sure they're patted dry uh, just on the outside. It'll help uh, in the drawing process. There we go. Just like that. And now what you're going to want to do is put it in a dry place. Now, if you're living in a household like I am, uh, you know, your wife or your girlfriend or your mom or parents probably don't want little feet hanging out everywhere. So what you're going to do is find a dry spot where they're not going to be disturbed. Don't dry it directly over heat because then it'll dry too fast. What you want to do is have it dry out for the next couple of days. Usually by now it's pretty much done. Like I said, you can leave it as is, but you're going to have a little bit of a uh, opening there. You could close that off with some epoxy. You could wrap some twine around it. However it is you want to finish it off. Uh, in most cases, people will take a bell, uh, like from the craft store, Hobby Lobby, uh, you know, Michaels, whatever. You open up the bell, you get a cap similar to this, and you stick it on, you close down the prongs, and you're good to go. All right. I'm All right, guys, so that's pretty much how to do the foot. If you like these videos, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, all that fun YouTube stuff that we all tell you to do. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there. Cheers.